okay, there was 25 in one row, and there was eight rows, that's 200, and then with the four extras, it comes out to 204. So that's our estimate using, you can see why I call it the box method. Yeah, because it's, it's in a box, right? yeah. And you could even have a couple of layers, couldn't you? Yeah, you in order to estimate. What layers. we're trying to do, of course, is to estimate the total number of balls here. Uh, and it's very similar to in school where you have a whole a big bunch of beans or something yeah, and you try to estimate the total number. Yeah. Okay, let's put them all back. Well. <laughs> Notice what the next one is? Yeah, it's the volume method. Okay, wait a minute. Well, there's the blank balls in 100 milliliters. Like that. So, yeah, like this. Since okay. that's 100 goes up to 1,000. Okay, so let's find out how many balls okay. make a volume of uh, one th uh, 100. Okay, there's five. 10. 15. 20. 25. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, that's about right. Maybe a couple more balls. Well, I'll put one. in one. Let's see what that equals. Yeah, that's that's level. Okay, now what does it say here? How many balls in 100? Well, it says, well, I, it'll be 26 balls in okay. 100. Now all we have to do is get the total volume of all the balls, right? Right. Okay, you want to pour? Okay. I'll help guide him in here. Okay. What's the total volume? Well, it's about 750 milliliters. Okay. Okay, if there's 26 balls in 100 and there's 750 milliliters, then you'd have to multiply 26 by 7.5. Right, this is 7 point times as much, yeah, right? Yeah, Okay, so what do you got? Well, I've got 195. Okay, so write that in there. Tyler, you have a small problem now. You got 204 here Up top, and 195. 195. Which one is right? Yes, which one is right? In fact, this is typical of a problem that scientists faced all the time, in which they want to find out the total number of mice in a field, or total number of molecules, or the total number of people doing this, that, and the other thing. They, they don't want to count every one, and they have to make a sample. And they have to devise methods of making sure that the sample is as accurate as possible rep uh, representation okay. of the whole. It's a whole branch of mathematics called statistics. Uh, how are we going to be sure how many there really are? Well, you'd have to count them like one, well, two, wait, 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 and no, then we, take we don't want to do that. I'll show you another way that we can do it. And by the way, they might use this system in a factory where they wanted to be absolutely certain of the number. Here's a trough, see it? Yeah, okay. okay. And down there is a light. Yeah, I see it. And if you roll a ball down the trough, yeah. here's a counter. Okay. Is it zero now? Yeah, it says zero now. Okay, roll a ball down there. One. One. Count Here's the ball. three. Okay. What should it read now? One and three? Well, one and three equals four, so that okay. number down there should be four. Very four. good. All we have to do is do the total number right, huh? Okay. Here we go. Hold up that thing so I can pour. How many we got? Well, we're at 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 200 exactly. Yes, and that's exactly the number that I put in there in the first place. So you okay. see, the really only accurate way is to count every one. But using modern technology, you can do it very quickly. Okay. And in a factory, if they wanted to count exactly the number of BBs, for example, they could use this system. Like when they and if it. not, they have to use a branch of mathematics called statistics and a technique called sampling, which you just did. Very good.